welcome. This is um, my name's Rowie. I'm from humancolony.org. Today, this afternoon, this evening, or this morning, which is for me um, here in Australia, uh, we are presenting the first of our live guided meditations. So I cordially welcome everybody who's attended today and give show them my appreciation and thanks. Uh, today we have in the room, we have uh, Jan, um, we have Will, uh, Valerie, Noha, Martina and um, Johannes, we have Makiko, Brian, uh, Bianca and Sheldon. And of course I have my partner Kim here with me too. So I'm very blessed for everybody to show up and take their time and, and be here today. I'm very grateful of that, um, your energies and wanting to learn a little bit more about meditation and and yeah, so one of the reasons why we started doing these meditations um, was just to take first steps. Some people are not always as advanced in spirituality and you know making connections and how to do that. So we thought if we did some online guided meditations this would just help people give them a bit of um, an idea of um, how to use our body which is a tool um, it can be used in many functions and one of those functions is very simple it involves breathing being imagining and and being able to let go of that as well and be able to take yourself further away from this body the meat sack as my beautiful friend Jagger used to put and go out and explore the universe and meditations can be one of these uh, an excellent way of doing it so we're going to be doing this every week we're going to be having a guest um, uh, guider as you could say who would take you through a little journey in, in their own little color in their own little way that they do it so I just wanted to say um, to everybody that's tuning in on YouTube, thank you very much. Um, and just start preparing you for the meditation. So the first sort of steps of the meditation would be um, get yourself into a comfy position. Get yourself into some way, you're lying down in a lotus position, sitting up in a chair, whatever you feel most excited by, whatever you feel best. Just get relaxed. It's going to be a Roughly about 40 minutes, 50 minutes, it might go longer, depends on uh, me and how far I can stake you. It's been a little while since I've done these, but um, I'm really excited to do that. So thank you so much for being here. And I invite everybody just to get comfortable, just sort of find their own little balance. And how it's going to go, we're going to start breathing. So we're going to start taking in oxygen into our cells. Why this is important is because our body, everything breathes in the universe. Everything is contracting and extracting and uh, expanding. So extracting. And that goes on throughout the universe. It's actually one of the key unifying symbols of life uh, throughout the universe. Everything breathes, even the universe. So what I invite everybody to start doing now is start taking deep breaths. We're going to oxygenate ourselves for like five, maybe even ten minutes to get us into a state. It's not hyperventilating, but it is a form of reoxygenation. And this is just a trigger. This is what telling your cells you're getting ready to meditate. So you're getting super oxygenated. So I want everybody to, just to start breathing in through their nose holding it in and then just gently letting it out through your mouth. So in through the nose. And out through the mouth. While you're doing this, I'm just going to play some soft music in the background just to help start tingling your little senses.
So in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really big breaths. Take in all that beautiful air consisting of oxygen, nitrogen, all those other elements that your body requires in all the way it does to breathe, to survive, to live this existence. Breathe in with the love of the universe. Breathe out with the gratitude of yourself. Keep breathing in, breathing out. Feel all the oxygen permeating into your cells, through the lungs, circulating through your body, making it become alive, making it become one. Preparing it for a journey, journey into your inner self, which is in fact the outer universe, the alpha and the omega, the above and below, honour that by breathing, honour that by being. Honor that by honoring yourself. Most simple functions, yet the most powerful tool of breath. Let it permeate your body. And as you feel As you feel the cells starting to tingle, I want you to focus on the cells, the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes. I want you to feel them starting to tingle, starting to vibrate. But as they start to tingle, they start to vibrate, feel them connecting to the cells around them, the cells around them are touching, connecting, starting to tingle and vibrate with them, this spreads like a warmth slowly up the phalanges and the metacarsals of the toes, up through the feet, through the hands, through the legs, through the arms, you feel the vibration, you feel the beauty of the connection of the wholeness of yourself coming in through parts of your body you start to allow. They spread further up into your torso, you start hitting the chakras of your bodies, and illuminating your chakras, aligning yourself. So you feel it hit the root from the bottom of your legs, you align these chakras, you align yourself, vibration, oxygen, cells, they're becoming alive, one with you while you become one with the universe. And you start taking that up into the body, solar plexus, Feel that vibration, vibration of being, your intuition. Your intuition knows you're going to be guided, it knows you're going to be going somewhere, taking a positive direction. And as that comes up, you bring yourself into the heart, heart which connects everything in the universe through the micro black hole in your heart which contains the whole of the universe, so let that vibrate, let that be one. 
let that come in, connect through to your next chakra, the throat chakra. Feel it as you breathe in, feel it vibrating, feel your throat. Thank it for all the functions it allows you to do, including the breaths, including my voice, which becomes one for your ears and your reality. And as we take it up, we start focusing on the head and the brain, two senses which connect you to this reality and others. You let that come up, let the vibration of the cells start to vibrate and light up your third eye. That little dot, third eye in your brain, which can become so large when focused on, so encompassing. So take in more breaths, truly oxygenate the brain, lungs go straight to the brain. And I now want you to focus on the left frontal zone of your brain, the laughter happiness zone. Let that light up, let that become a beacon. And as those cells start to tingle and connect, you should feel your whole body now being as one, being one vibration, ready to let go, ready to go on a journey, ready to discover laughter, ready to discover joy. We are going to find a way to connect. So now I ask you, imagine a vibration focusing into the middle of your forehead and it becomes a tiny little spot right in the center of your forehead above your third eye focus on this little area imagine this little white golden bluish dot whatever your mind perceives and breathe in that vibration into this dot, into this sphere and let it grow, let it expand, imagine this beautiful sphere vibrating, getting bigger, that you are this sphere, this vibration, we're going to take you on a journey through this sphere, through this vibration. And I want you to start to lift up, let go of the body, let go of this reality, and float upwards outside of the body. The breathing will attend to itself. You just take yourself up and outside for now. And see, look around the space that you now inhabit. See that you are part of this space, part of the room, part of nature. You are one. You are all yet you are able to separate yourself to have a unique journey into within. So as you make that connection, I'd like you to turn around and see yourself lying there, the being you are, the beautiful, wonderful being that you chose to be, and smile. Smile at that beautiful person that you love so much. Smile with all your joy. For you are the wonder of creation, of your own creation. You are so powerful. You are so alive in this moment.
So I want you to now to open up your perception to the being you are, the being that you were, the being that you always have been. And I want you to dive into yourself wherever you feel. I want you to open up with this sphere and envelop yourself and go back, find and see the inner child that you once were and can now be. I want you to dive into yourself and not see yourself as a linear being but a stretched out being that has connections to that beautiful self, that beautiful child that you once were and now that we are going to bring back. So we take you through the motions of your life and I want you to see all the happiness, all the laughter you've had in between that child and yourself. So all the happy times you may have had in your life, you can now see through your body. You can now bring them to your light and embrace, embrace those times, embrace those moments of joy, laughter and happiness. You can see them as flashes you can remember them as experiences. You can be these any moment of your choosing. The beautiful marriages, the wonderful celebrations, the absolutely beautiful wonderness of touch of a loved partner, all these experiences that brought you laughter the funny shows on what they call the TV, the experiences you have with your friends, they're all there for you right now, bringing you towards a crescendo of ecstasy and laughter. But I ask you to hold yourself within. Let this beautiful energy of laughter and light, love, fun, happiness and joy, condense within that sphere and hold all those beautiful feelings within the sphere of yourself, of all that is. Hold it in as we take you further and further and further towards your childhood. Remembering what it like what it used to be like to be a beautiful child, carefree, wondrous innocence. Take a breath, let that sink in, feel that inner child that you used to be that you used to love, that beautiful innocence, the purity of that child. And remember yourself doing all the things you used to love, even though you may have got told off because those parents didn't know better. And now we are in a position where we can be those parents and encourage that laughter within that inner child for other people. So as we connect with the inner child, I want you to start to smile. Look at yourself as that child. Look at yourself as that beautiful part of nature and being that you came here to be and thank that child for allowing yourself to connect back with it. As this child 
Remember the experiences you first had that brought you laughter, that brought you joy. All those unique moments that you hold, nobody else does. Remember the first times that you swam in the water and you laughed. Remember the first time you tasted something and it made you laugh because you never tasted it before and it was so joyous and so wondrous. Remember playing with your friends Kiss, catch, hide and seek, whatever that you used to play. Even if you used to play by yourself, remember the space. Remember all the beauty and joy that you used to have as this child. And bring this into your sphere, into your consciousness, into your being of life today. Be that joy of discovery of your inner child and bring this into your daily adventures today. Reconnect with that being, with that beauty. So I allow you a few minutes. to contemplate on those moments, those reflections of your being that is in here and you're bringing to this here and now. Let it fill yourself with joy. Let it fill yourself with a laughter. And I want you to look at your sphere and see the color change you've made to this sphere that you created. See the influences you have brought upon yourself and allowed yourself to be. And as we raise this sphere outside the body again, as we leave that beautiful inner child where it was, yet remain connected. Bring that sphere above your body once again. Bring that sphere on top of your forehead. And I want you to allow that connection to remain and that color that beauty of the sphere, start merging with yourself and allowing that concentrated laughing energy, that energy of joy, start permeating the third eye into your 3D being and allow the sphere to touch the cells, to start putting that energy back into your forehead and imagine it as a tingle in your forehead and that tingle starts to spread through your face into your brain, that laughter and joy energy start permeating every cell of your body from head to toe and you can feel it come into your neck, bypassing the throat for now, into the heart, and filling the heart full of laughter and joy. And as it does, you can feel the others that are with us now connecting to each other with that laughter and joy. And we can share that moment with each other very soon as we make this connection and then go further into our solar plexus 
into our tummies, filling it full of laughter and joy and gratitude for our stomach. Our muscles will help us laugh, help us bring ourselves to ecstasy. And as we bring it down into the root chakra, into the legs, out through to the arms, into the hands, every cell of your body is now activated. It's now brimming with joy and laughter. It's just contained. It's just held in by you right now. So I would like you now to start breathing containing that joy and as you breathe feel your whole body breathe feel every cell breathe feel every cell in your body in and out it's now breathing with ecstasy and joy and laughter connection because that's what it wants to do it wants to be this all the time the energy is healing the energy is just so magnificent and I want to thank you for bringing this into your body now. I want you to thank yourselves. I want you to be that vibration, be that joy, be that laughter. So focus. 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 Now, like when a baby wakes up, focus on that inner baby, that inner child. Please unmute your mics if you can. Hello. <laughs> and the most infectious laugh there is is the laugh of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Noha. Thank you. <laughs> So please, please, if you want to laugh. I'm gonna cry, no ha. Noah's house is wondering what the heck is going on. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, Brian's not <laughs> laughing hard enough. Hang on, Brian. How's this? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say this to me. Oh, I see. Oh. All right, I'm used. Come on. There you go. I'll look at that pee pee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got tears in my eyes. <sighs> Time for some music, huh? Let's have a little bit of laughter and dance. Then you look like you're gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, enough. <laughs> yeah. There is no such thing as enough. <laughs> Oop. That was a start. <laughs> oh. oh, indeed, naughty indeed, babies. indeed, naughty, naughty <laughs> baby. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh. so how was that for everybody? Good way to start your uh, well to finish off your Sunday evenings. Absolutely. <laughs> I got two sets of crunches in today. Do you hear what? Two sets of what? Crunches. Crunches. I did crunches are a certain type of sit-ups. So now yeah. the laughter for the other set. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow! Thank you so much for um for going through that for being with me. I'm sure there was a few surprises at the end there that you weren't um, quite ready for, and I always like surprises because surprises are full of laughter, I find. So, um, yeah, so if anybody wants to comment on that, um, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, if anyone would like to talk. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> So that's been that's the first of the Hukolo uh, guided meditations. Um, there will be more. Uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful! Bianca said she fell asleep and woke up to the laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the first of our um, weekly meditations. We're going to be doing this um, roughly around 7 p.m. EDT every Sunday. So we have the webinar on Saturday morning, and then we're going to have the 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 guided meditations every Sunday at 7 p.m. So I invite everybody to join along and come and be part of these wondrous events. It won't just be me doing it um, each week. Um, it's going to be guests um, coming. Um, so people like Sabrina and Jim and we invite other people as well. If, if you're good with guided meditation and you know what you're doing and you can um, set up a webinar. Um, please get in touch, and um, we can facilitate that for happen to you as well in the next few months. Because we just want as many people as possible getting involved with um, doing this and being part of um, the group, um, humancolony.org, and helping people through various stages of their um, progression, ascension, as Alma Talk would like to say. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Meditation is, is is 
can be key, but it can take a lot, a lot of um, practice and learning. But once you get to a certain point with meditation, you can literally get it down to one breath. That's all it can take. You can you can meditate in one breath. Um, but sometimes you need to be able to walk before you can run. So um, doing guided meditations helped me um, many years ago be able to learn all the different techniques of meditation. Um, and so it was really, really enlightening. And I feel that I can share that with the rest of the community. And I'm so happy that I can have this outlet and platform to be able to do so. So um, again, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, if you'd like to check out our website, it is www.humancolony.org. Um, we are a channeling community, but also focused on spirituality and um, extra dimensional and extraterrestrial beings, which I like to call um, HEBs, highly evolved beings. And we have lots of interaction with them through various mediums and channelers, such as Kim, myself, and we also promote such things as Reiki and other forms of um, toning and healing hangouts. So if that feels like something you would like to get involved with and um, and start to explore as we start moving through these wonderful times, please check out the website below. I think you can. Uh, read it there and um, please check us out um, we've got groups on Facebook so we've got groups on Google Plus um, if you want to join up just send us your email and we can add you into the, the hangouts um, there's loads going on we do a weekly free webinar um, channeling webinar which I'm sure lots of people will be interested in taking part in um, there's a lot of channelers charge a bit of money so this is something you can you can come and interact with yourself so um, I just got to thank everybody for being here today once again. It didn't go as long as I thought, but um, I hope you had a wonderful time. And um, we'll see you next week, next Sunday, for another wonderful meditation. And I, I don't know who it is, who's doing it, so we'll find out in the week about that. So Bye. much love. Thank you very much, and we appreciate it. That was really awesome. I was held and laughing. And our uh, body cells are crying for more laughter. It's a, good, it's a good way to heal our bodies in this way. We're healing our bodies in laughter, by the way. I feel it. So, thank you, thank you. It was awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. Go ahead. And it's, 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 if any time you, you feel in a position where you, you need to laugh, um, you can always connect through meditation. You can always connect with those parts of yourself that brought those laughter and you are that whole being so you can bring that into your reality whenever you want so the more you can connect with um, times that you did laugh or times when you were pure, pure and innocent you know you can change your whole perception and outlook on life just by literally invoking these uh, moments or bringing the connecting back to these moments into your life so whenever you find yourself a little bit down or depressed or under the weather or life's been a bit tough you can always just take a few minutes to yourself and and bring this into your reality and you can watch your reality shift right in front of you so it is, it is really amazing how you can do this so it's, it's been a really really amazing tool for me to turn my life around I've had a bit of an up and down life it's been a bit of a roller coaster so I've used these tools myself to be able to make life just an absolute uh, ecstasy without having to take any tablets. <laughs> so I, I encourage everybody to do the same. So um, thank you Will, Valerie, Noha, JD and Martina, uh, Mikiko, Brian, Bianca and Sheldon and everybody on YouTube I can see you watching there. Thank you for tuning in and everybody who will tune in in the future. My name is Rowie, this is Kim, and we say good morning from Australia and good night to America and love to the rest of the world and the universe. Thank you. Blessings. Bye. Ciao. See you. Bye. <laughs>